Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of my bow guide series. Today we're going to talk about the exhaust flinch. I'm going to explain what it is, how it works, and how you can make use of it. So first of all, what is the exhaust flinch? I want you to think of exhaust like a status. Take paralysis for example. You build up the status, and when the status reaches the threshold of the monster, the monster gets paralyzed. So what happens when the exhaust status is filled up? Well, two things happen. The first is that the monster is going to flinch, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The second thing is that the monster is going to lose stamina, but it's something that's not really relevant in Iceborne, and we're not going to talk about that today at all. Before I go in detail, you need to know that exhaust does not work on Elder Dragons at all. So all I'm going to show you today does not work on Elder Dragons. So we concluded that exhaust can cause a flinch, but how can I use that with the bow? There's two ways to use it. The first way is using arc shot. As you know, arc shot does stun damage, which will eventually lead to a KO, but it also does exhaust damage for the same amount. Usually monsters have about the same uh, stun threshold as exhaust threshold, so as soon as you get a KO with arc shots, you will be able to get an exhaust flinch right after. So let's look at a few examples. So in this clip, I use arc shots to KO Tigrex. So I know that his exhaust threshold is already maxed out. That means that after the KO, I will be able to get a flinch with only one arc shot. And same thing with Naga Kuga, I KO him using arc shots and then only one arc shot will be able to flinch him. Please note that the arc shot does not have to be right after the KO, it can be anywhere during the fight, so you can save it for later. For example on this clip, I save it for later when Ligana is flying, because I know she can be difficult to dunk, so I wait for her to fly and I stagger her in the air with the arc shot, which makes for an easy dunk. So it's up to you if you want to use this flinch and how you want to use it. The simplest way is to do extra damage using this flinch, like I do on this clip. But you can also use it for things like a safe tenderize attack, like I do on this clip on Tigrex. Or you can use it to help you dunk flying monsters like Rathalos or Ligiana, like I showed earlier. The second way to use the exhaust, and that's where it becomes interesting, is by using the impact mental. Similarly to the arc shot, impact mental adds stun damage to every attack and exhaust damage. So you will do exhaust and stun damage with every attack. This means that most likely, after a KO with the impact mental, the first attack when the monster stands up is going to make him flinch. Once you know this, it makes unlocking monsters really easy with the impact mental. If you click on the link that's on your screen right now, you're going to see a run where I completely abuse this on the Tempered Xenogre quest in the Ancient Forest. Please note that all of this works very well and is very consistent in a solo, but as soon as you play multiplayer, the thresholds are getting a lot higher, so that means that this is going to be a lot less consistent. That's pretty much it for this episode. Please keep in mind that this does not work on Elder Dragons at all, and this is very consistent in solo player, but in multiplayer this will not work 100% of the time, so just be aware of this. Okay, and let me know in the comments section what you want me to cover next time, and I'll see you next time. See you guys!